Okay, hi guys, this is Hyperactive Fudge. Run to Alpha right now, I do not know why I'm like this. Uh, it's very weird, I'm usually very quiet. I guess I'm really excited about this, whatever. Anyway, so what I want you to do is I want you to start off with the dragon like so. And you're gonna start off with the top of the head, top of the head right here. And we're gonna go on an incline like downward, downward, like so. Going downward. And then... We're gonna take, and we're gonna have the same dragon essentially. I guess this could be my white dragon that I was talking to my friends about. Um, so I'm gonna have you go straight out like so, and then I want you to stop right there. It's starting to look like a wolf, my regular wolves. This is when it gets different, and it does not look like a wolf anymore. I want you to draw two circles next to each other. And also, I want you to pull that out a little bit more so the snout is showing. And I am going to have you draw the two circles. You're going to put bumps on the circles, and they are going to turn into a snout. Did you see how that was done? Okay, so basically, what I did here was I basically put... There was a snout that I put two circles. Then I put two bumps on the line that's going straight forward. And then I put a circle or an oval in the middle to make a nostril. That's really it. All right. Then we're gonna then we're gonna start from the the base, the 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 the, the outward part of the snout, and we're gonna draw it like so. Now this one, I was thinking about making his mouth open or her mouth open, whatever the heck it is. Anyway, I want you to curve, curve, curve like you're doing a circle, like you're doing a circle, but stop. Stop right here. Make a semicircle, but don't end it. This is where your semicircle would stop. This is where I want you to stop right here. I'm going to have you come up or, or come across like so. Just go right straight across. Not all the way. Stop about right here. Are you looking at me right now? Um, then what I'm going to have you do is you're going to come back over here and you're going to go down. Like so. You're basically just going to meet and you're going to and you're going to curve a little bit. You could do a you could do a straight through like so. That that would be fine too. And I'm gonna have you go straight, uh not straight to the mouth part and stop. I'm going to have you do I'm gonna have you draw out uh once you get there, I want you to draw this circular like thing right here. Are you looking at me? circular thing right here which is the lower jaw actually humans have it it's just not as prominent and it's more of a straight through all right now i've just drawn a dragon part for you so i'm also going to draw out the eye of the dragon i'm not going to go too much into detail about dragon eyes to be honest because it's not that hard um Basically, what you would just want to do is you just want to make a uh, you just want to make an isosceles triangle, right? Do you know what isosceles triangle is? I hope you do. Uh, and then I just want you to put a line right through it. It becomes an eye slit. It becomes a dragon eye. All right. So now that we got that part done, I'm also going to show you how to do the dragon's mouth open real quick. Real quick. So what you're going to do, this is a little bit more difficult, but it's really cool to have, uh, to know this, is I'm going to go straight down like this, and you're actually going to, this is actually going to go down as well when you're making the dragon. So if you're animating, this needs to go down as well to the point where it's a little bit above where the mouth is going to meet. Now, this looks really weird right now, I know, but... I'm just going to have you curve inward, like so, and the mouth is going to open, and you're going to go straight across, like, well, straight across, that's straight across, straight across like this, you could do a downward if you could, but right now, I, I highly recommend you to do that. Anyway, so actually, it's kind of cool how teeth of dragon work, we're just going to go like this, this is a really fun part. Just do triangles. And right now, you don't have to worry about how large or how small they are. 
actually jagged looking teeth that look kind of cool so I recommend doing that. Just make sure they line up with one another so that when the dragon closes its mouth, it, well, as, if the dragon wants to close its mouth, it can. And it makes it also look a little bit better. I don't know if I needed that anyway. And uh, basically that's really all you need to do for a dragon mouth. I know this looks really weird, but it's also trying to teach you guys uh, how to draw it without too much detail. There's a lot more to it than just what I've shown you. So I'm just going to meet downward. I'm going to go across like so. And I'm also going to meet like this. And the dragon's got his mouth open. Now, um, so on a dragon, we're actually going to do the wings as well. I'm going to try to do the wings, but we're going to see how far we can get with that. And I'm going to have you guys keep going, curving downward. Keep curving downward. And I'm also going to have you guys go, go at an incline right now. We're at an incline, so we're looking at it. You're going in an incline. Um, so you're just going to go like so. And we're going to stop right there. About the amount, just about the amount of what the, you want the neck to be. I'm not going to go in, okay. So anyway, what we're just going to do is we're actually going to go inward, curve inward. Or, yeah, inward of the dragon. And then we're also going to meet these lines, make sure they meet. That's going to go in an incline as well. Keep going incline, incline. Actually, it depends on how the, the how the dragon has his neck arched. If you have it straight downward like this, then I then you would do straight down, straight down. You would start working curves into it to make it look more better. Uh, make it more better. What the heck? Where's my English? Um, it would look better uh, and more realistic of your dragon to put curves into it, but you don't need to go into the, all that details right, all those details right now. We're just gonna simply do the dragon like so. All right. So basically, what I'm gonna do is actually, when you get past this part, it's going to start arching into the back of the dragon, which we're actually gonna just curve upward uh, because we need to start working on the wings. The wings meet pretty much as soon as the shoulder line hits. Uh, essentially, that's usually where the dragon's wings meet. And contrary to what people think, dragon wings also need to, the dragon's wings also have to meet here so it can carry the body fully. And that's why dragon's wings are so big because they are such m huge reptiles. Now this is the part where it gets a little bit hard for me to teach you because I know how to do angel wings, I know how to do other kind of wings, but dragon wings have always been a very difficult uh, thing for me to teach. I would seriously recommend you go into something else at this point. But uh, anyway, if you guys are going to stick with me, then I'm going to try to teach you dragon wings 101, I guess. We're going to college, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so basically what I did here was I arched it like so. We kept going around the circle, but we didn't go all across. We're going to keep going upward. Did you see what I did there? Basically, I just made this this uh, circle, and then I just followed the circle until I broke off into the wing that's going to meet about here. Now, you can do different designs with the wings. You can do whatever you want. I, I recommend just going with regular wings right now. So I'm going to go straight across, and I'm probably going to make these look really, really small because I want to make sure that I can show you guys just how wings would look if you were to do the drag, if you were to draw a dragon. So what we need to do is it's really interesting because how dragon wa wing veins work is like so. So basically, we're going to meet the bulk. It depends on the bulk of the dragon. The dread, the, the bigger the dragon, the, the bigger the bulk of the veins would be. So we're just going to follow this line, follow the line please, and then we're going to meet up here, and it's actually going to get, uh, it's going to progressively get smaller until you can only see the line that I created for you just now. Now, the thing is, I'm going to actually show you something. I'm going to have you go straight down from where I was, and I'm also going to have you draw a semicircle after you draw downward. Can you? You can't see what I'm doing, can you? Okay. I'm sorry. So you're going to go straight down. 
And what's going to happen is we're going to draw a semicircle. Depending on how big the dragon is, depending it depends on how big the semicircle is going to be. And this actually needs to meet up with it right here. So you need to meet up with this line here. And it also has to progressively get bigger or smaller depending on which way you're going. And you're going to follow these guidelines for about three times. I, th I think it would be good to put three times. It depends on the dragon again. Or it depends on the design of your dragon, like so. Um, I'm basically going to do that. Or, oh, oh, shit, I can't even follow my own advice right now, sorry. Okay, so progressively get smaller, start from here, and progressively get smaller, 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 until you get to the sliver that you can't, that, that, that can't, that becomes a line. We're going to do it again, one more time. And we're going to go like this. Dragon, 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 and then, again, we're going to follow, we're basically following these lines still. It's still coming down from here, but we're also following these lines to progressively, progressively get smaller, and then we turn into that. Alright, so I just showed you the fold-up wings. Uh, the outward extended wings are a little bit easier to follow. You're just following the same initial guidelines. Just remember how many of these things you have for your dragon. Now, basically, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cheat. You would keep doing this until you got to the end, actually, because that's how the wings fold, for the veins to fold into, so it makes the little dragon can fold its wings properly and well. That's actually how the anatomy of a dragon goes. So, actually, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm just going to go downward from there, about there. You'd want... Right before you would get to probably the back side of it. I don't know if I'm going to have enough. Okay, I have enough pencil. Alright, so basically you're just going to follow that. And we're actually almost done here, guys. And I also, I'm not going to teach you about scales. I showed you how to scales, do the W's, and then up the W's. Um, and then I'm going to basically do the back. Just come curve, depending on the dragon. And just for you and pleasure, I'll show you how to do the tail. Now, I've actually seen a short-tailed dragon unless it was really just fun. Just have with the dragon tails, okay? It's really... Uh, you can do whatever you want. You can elongate it short you want. It is at the end of the, for the, this end of the dragon tail. Look at me down. It can be like this for a dragon. And don't forget so. So I'm just going to do the scales real quick. Like this. Do whatever you want with scales. This is when you want to do. And you don't follow anyone in... Uh, claws are really only this. I'm sure I have enough room on the phone to do this. Just straight down. Uh, it depends on how it's facing. It's going to be facing this way, so it will be backwards L. And then I just want you guys to follow me like this until you get to this part right here. And then you come up. I'm just not going to be very, very fancy about this because I'm running out of time. And then you just do claws. Claws are essentially very easy. Just make very sharp looking edges and then depending on the dragon the dragon's claws could come out like that and it could be like that or it could come out like that just depends on what you want your dragon to look like essentially and that's really all there is to drawing a dragon uh, technically and i really really hope this helped with your dragon drawing uh they are really really fun to draw and um when you get the right basic know-how of how to do it, it's really fun. Um, and they can be very frustrating. They can actually look like wolves or cats or something like that. But once you get the basic anatomy of them, they actually do have a very interesting look to them. They're different from dinosaurs, actually. And really, that's all I want to teach you. I have to do this in 15 under 15 minutes so that I can upload this to YouTube. And thank you for your time. Also, I really hope this helped you, Joseph. I really did want to help you out with this. And this was really fun. And thank you for this opportunity. All right. Bye, guys.